Welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid and Dr. Drake's Adventures in the Zombie Apocalypse. So we're going to start today's episode. we got a big, a big episode and a big week ahead of us. Uh, but what we're going to do first is talk about just another mod that I want to kind of highlight. Uh, it's another collecting mod. Um, it is called Another Trading Card Game. And uh, if you've played a little bit of Magic back in the day like I have, I think most people probably have at least heard of Magic. But it's a cool little collection mod. And as you can see, it actually... You can actually see the cards and they have outlined all the cards in the game and it's, it's a mod that's kind of in the works still um i also if you look upstairs i have uh i have got the uh, the chest right here the gathering chest and i think you can just drop all these guys in here but what a cool mod that just another way to collect stuff in, in the world and uh, i think i was reading that it even they're trying to even maybe down the road to make it playable if we actually play the game of magic within project zomboid and that would be amazing especially on multiplayer just another thing to collect and just to make this game even more better than it currently is right now so what are we going to be working on today so like i promised we have a mission and the mission is going to be we're going to start the process of hitting up fort redstone fort redstone is somewhere i think it's right here and uh, what we're going to do is it's going to spend the next couple episodes uh trying to get into that fort raiding the fort getting a bunch of weapons because as you can see i've been getting i've been doing pretty good on skills i'm um, aiming is doing pretty good but if we can get us some heavy duty weapons we should be able to get to the uh, overall mission of dr drake which is that uh, we will reveal in a couple more episodes but he does have a goal that he's working towards that he will uh, he's going to need to raid a certain area in order to achieve that goal but in order to do that we're going to need a ton of ammunition and a ton of weapons so what i'm going to do is i got everything loaded and uh, we are going to make our way over to kind of the outskirts of fort redstone we'll set up a basic camp and that's what we're going to be operating out of the last couple days and uh, hopefully we come back we got power but i have a few we are in day what day are we at we're day 22 and uh 30 days the power goes off anytime within this we got eight days before the power goes off we still haven't found a generator book or the guide how to use a generator but we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it but i do want to get uh four redstone rated before that so okay wish me luck we'll head over there we'll pick the episode up over at fort redstone Okay, so uh, yeah, on the way over, uh, crashed a Bronco. Uh, on the right side is, uh, I got this other pickup truck and I also got a M16 rifle with no magazine, but uh, we did make it to Fort Redstone. And uh, as you can see, um, I have a huge corpse pile right here and that's because I, I executed my uh, whirly truck circle of death or whatever you want to call it. I'm able to uh, kill a whole bunch of uh, zombies, so I'm able to, you know, get a little bit of, uh, you know, make a little bit of room here so I could actually maneuver and break my way in here. So let's see, as we get into Fort Redstone, let me, tr oh, you know what we're going to have to do real quick? I have to do some killing. Some more killing. Here we go. Knock you down. And it is getting late in the day, and uh, anybody else? Maybe we, let's look up here before we start banging on the wall. Anybody in here? This guy over there. What do we have inside these structures? Okay, good. There's a bed in there. Oh, hello. All right. And I think there is, um, if I remember right, yeah, we're going to take these beds. Um, we'll set up maybe our camp right here is what I'm thinking. But um, they, uh, let's have to clear, clear these guys out over here too. But um, there is there is a nice little drive to the next gate and we're gonna have to break down two of these gates i think and probably gonna have to kill a oh you got an axe over here there you go. oh we've alerted a little bit more more than i expected what are you carrying is that an umbrella what is that like a cone Else. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, is that it? What are you carrying? So let's see, you were carrying a bouquet of flowers. Nice. 
Don't know why. <laughs> okay, I think. Oh, we got one more on our way over here. Okay, take you out real fast. Hopefully, just simply push you down, stomp you out. We are extremely tired. Let's get a drink real quick. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let's grab the sledge again and we will knock down. I think we're going to have to knock down three of these guys. Let's see. I think it's a two two uh, two phase approach. Yep. There we go. One. I think the truck will be able to fit with three. I'd like to grab these crates too. There we go. Let's speed this up a little bit. Feel a little bit safer to do that now. There you go. That should be good enough. Okay, here we go. All right, one guy finally heard me. All right, let's put the sledge back. We'll take care of you. Like you got a crowbar. Definitely gonna want to take that as long as it's in decent condition. Die. We're so tired. That's eh, somewhat decent. We'll take it because we are definitely gonna need a lot of weapons for this uh, for this job. So what are we exactly are we gonna do? So what we need to do is we need to, a couple priorities. One, we need to secure the travel or the route so we can bring the trailer in because we're going to a lot of stuff we're going to need to take out of here. Um, number two, we need to set up a little camp outpost where we can sleep through the night safely. And I'm thinking, come on, truck. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> we might have to secure a ride for the way back, too. But, hey, we're going into a military facility. I imagine there's going to be some trucks in here. And possibly we could get maybe, hopefully, like a Humvee, maybe an MRAP or something in here that can serve a better purposes than, than this uh, little S10 pickup that we have here. Okay, so I'm thinking that this is going to be the spot. So let me, so let's get the tent set up real quick. And we've grabbed the tent. We will, I think we can probably place this guy. Hey, look at that. There we go. Right here. There we go by the campfire perfect that is from a brit's uh, armor pack i believe we're gonna need a bed too as well but you know what maybe we'll sleep maybe in this structure over here i don't necessarily feel safe sleeping out here in the open take care of you real quick This is going to be a multi, probably a multi-episode adventure because Fort Redstone is massive. Can we get in here? Yeah, we can. Okay. Let's hang out in here for a second. Gas mask. We'll take that. Night vision goggles. There we go. A rifle sling. We'll take that as well. Oh, so much good equipment in here. Um, Army service jacket. Maybe we'll take that eventually. Okay. We'll unlock this guy real fast. I don't know. Actually, I don't think you can. Okay. All right. Hey, another light-footed. Nice. Well, it's a good time to get skills up because we are going to definitely need it. Okay, so I think what we'll do is let me have something quick to eat. And then let me sleep through the night. And then we'll come back and uh, we'll maybe adventure down a little bit farther and see what we're up against as far as how much what, what we're gonna have to clear in here because we're definitely gonna need to get some uh, some stamina back if we're gonna do some any amount of zombie killing. So okay, we'll see you guys once I grab a eat these can of beans <laughs> and uh, get some sleep. Okay, so we made it through the night. Got a little bit of my energy back. Uh, getting a little hungry. Don't have a terrible amount of food, but okay. So let's let's get back in the truck. Let's go check out how far we have to go and how many zombies are in this little this little gap you here between Fort Redstone and the gate. Whew, so we have quite a bit. There is quite a bit over here. Oh, there is a ton. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of work to do. All right. Oh god. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. We may need to... Uh... Wow. Uh, 
Oh, here's the gate. Okay. Yikes. All right. Let's get out of here real quick. Let's head back. And wow, there is. At least I got them grouped up pretty well. Oh, there are so many. Okay. I, hey, I told you guys this was going to be a couple episodes. Or it will be short because it could be the end of Dr. Drake as we know it. It's good, could definitely going to be the end of the car here pretty soon. Oh, there are so many zombies. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. For us to clear that, we're going to have to do some... All right, shotgun. And here's that gap that we have right here. Okay. Definitely going to need to get the shotgun out. They're going to be coming. So, okay. Well, we might as well just start the process of clearing. Maybe we can do it without bringing too much attention to start. Maybe we can use these barricades to our advantage. I don't know if they'll climb over. Let's see. Oh, they do. Definitely gonna put our skills to the test right now. Up and over. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. We could get the shotgun out. It's not that big of a group. Yeah. I am worried that uh, one shot and then everything from the street is going to come down. I think that this guy's got an EOD suit on. <laughs> We can lose them in the woods. We just need to separate them a little bit. If we can just separate them, we can deal with them. It's the hardest part of this game sometimes when they get clumped up like that is to separate them. But if we can just pick them off a little bit at a time. I'll take the long blood skill. All right. Here we go. And three or four more. Need a couple critical strikes here. What are you wearing? There we go. Oh, missed. Oh. Okay. Whew. One wave down. Don't necessarily think that did a whole bunch, but uh, okay. Take you out as well. We could try. Okay. Well, as soon as we kill these guys, real quick, truck just died. Wonderful. <laughs> Dr. Drake, things are going so well on this run. We lost the Bronco. Probably gonna lose the S10 Blazer, but maybe let's grab. Maybe we can take a minute just to relax for a second. Let's come over here real quick and just give ourselves a little bit of stamina back. There we go. We're definitely gonna need to get something to eat. Um, highest calorie count, corn. We'll open the can of corn. Let's grab our bow. Maybe we could knock out a couple of these guys from a distance, possibly. We need more of those. <laughs> okay. Um, into the truck. Let's grab... Oh, you know what? We do have the machete. Let's use that real quick. Let's see if we can clear out some more. The more we clear, the more, the less we have to deal with on our way back. So, there we go. Machete seems to be the, uh, the weapon of choice. And 
maybe get these guys as well. I just have to clear the road a little bit at a time. If we're getting one shot, one kills, that's going to be good. So we'll just keep calm, working our way down. Die. Make sure nobody sneaks up on me. There we go. Stomp you out real quick. Okay, so the big herd will keep moving over this way. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of clearing here around here. This is kind of just nothing too threatening. So I'll come back after I maybe work my way down a little bit. And uh, we'll see if we can get, get to the gate by the end of this episode, hopefully. And then we can start the actual clearing of Fort Redstone uh, when I get back. So, ooh, watch out. Okay, so I, I, I decided to fire a couple rounds of that. Um, so let's grab the shotgun. I think I might have just, uh, might have sealed my doom. We'll see how we handle it. So let's, we're gonna need the shotgun though. Definitely gonna need to get the shotgun out right now. So let's do this fast. So let's grab the shotgun. We're gonna need to get like one or two boxes of shotgun shells. There we go. Put these in our backpack. Hopefully, that wasn't too close to the road. Here, here they come. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Okay. I think we might have, we might be all right though. If we can clear these guys out. Shotgun durability is going down. The key is we need to keep them grouped up. I don't want to get too close down here because they're going to just keep coming. Shotgun is so loud. Woo! Okay. I might have made a mistake. All right. Oh, can we get in the truck? Can we get in the truck? Start truck. Maybe we can back him over. I don't want to ruin the front too much because if the front is definitely damaged, but we can damage the back end. Okay, keep them grouped up, keep them grouped up, at least thin the herd a little bit. There we go. Try not to, this. we got, okay, I, I, I may be all right. Definitely gonna, oh my God. Don't wanna ruin the front of the truck, not the front, just the back. How are we looking? Still a lot. Maybe one or two more passes and we may be able to... Oh, <laughs> come on, truck, hold together. Just a couple more passes. The trunk is gonna be toast. Okay, I think that's enough. All right, let's... Parker right here. Get out the machete. There we go. Oh god. There we go. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that was quite a lot of zombies that we did. Unfortunately, I don't think you get uh, you don't get credit with the with you use the truck. But let's see what's left of the uh, the truck. Okay, so we've completely destroyed everything. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, thankfully, everything. So. We'll leave this close. So, but I think we're gonna have to wrap the episode up right here. Um, we'll have to come back, and uh, I think we did a pretty good job. Um, let's take a quick look down here. Um, as far as for we did a pretty good dent, and I think yeah, we did. Okay, cool. Okay, so that is gonna be the process that we're gonna have to keep kind of maybe working, or I'll work my way down. Maybe in between episodes, I'll do a little bit of, of safely, uh, you know, thinning out the herd. And then don't fire any more guns near Redstone because I don't want to make this mess again. But anyway, that was fun. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. And hopefully hopefully we get a couple more. But at the rate it's going, Dr. Drake, your, your, your time on this world may be short. Okay, see you guys later.